We got more details today of how the controversial garden bridge will look as the design for its gardens was revealed. The bridge will span the Thames between Temple and the South Bank. Critics say it's in the wrong place, but the designers say it'll be inspirational. Here's our transport correspondent, Tom Edwards. In the Thames, river surveys have started to see what the garden bridge will be built on. And today, more progress. Plans revealing the gardens. This image shows what they'll look like, with marshland, woodland and ornamental gardens. We want this to be a garden that is a centre of horticultural excellence, where there are plants that are used in a naturalistic way, where there are ranges of plants that you might not see in an every, everyday garden, and for it to be somewhere that really is unique, something that we can be proud of as a nation, right in the very heart of our city. The bridge will cost £170 million, 125 of that has already been pledged including 30 million each from the Treasury and Transport for London. The Garden Bridge Trust says it has listened to those who had concerns about this project. There will be 300 trees now on the bridge and the views will not be as badly obscured as they were going to be initially. But there is still opposition to this scheme and it will end up in court. The scheme will face a judicial review Opponents have concerns about overcrowding, maintenance costs and damage to protected views. The biggest concerns are the impact of what's there now. There's a gorgeous, gorgeous space. We have one of the great walking places of Britain along the South Bank. 26 million people enjoy that space. That will be trashed if 7 million more people have to come and queue to get on this bridge. If they then can't afford to run it and they have to start charging people to get on this bridge, it's going to be even worse. We feel that we'll be able to create something that will be a precedent for other parks and gardens in this country and somewhere that becomes a real focus uh, along that particular part of the river and something which isn't anywhere else. It'll be completely unique. Do you think it's in the right place? I think it's in the right place. I think it's the only place for that particular experience. The Trust insists it won't charge for entry and operating costs will be met through fundraising. The case is expected to be heard in the High Court in June. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.